I am uh, Dr. Lauren Wills, and I am a professor of biology at Charleston Southern University. And so I'm here just to tell you a little bit about the biology department, um, about why I love it so much, um, and hopefully why um, it will be a good fit for all of you. Um, I have a really short presentation um, just to give you kind of an overview of um, what the department is like. And then I will open it up for questions where you all can just ask me whatever questions you have um, about what it's like to be a biology major at Charleston Southern University. So here we go. All right, so welcome future Buccaneer. Um, so I am, once again, Dr. Lauren Wills, and I have been a professor at Charleston Southern University in the biology department since January 2016. Um, and I love it. So a little bit about Charleston Southern University, which I'm sure um, you are familiar with. Uh, it's a faith-based university, and so we are um, a Baptist university. It was founded in 1964, and it has um, about uh, 4,000 students um, with 48 undergraduate degree programs and 10 um, graduate degree programs, including a master's um, in biology. Because Charleston Southern is a faith-based university, we adhere to a biblical worldview, which is this belief that the primary reason for existence is to love and serve God. And so we want to be able to do that with our whole um our whole lives, right? Um, and just like Jesus said, right, Jesus replied, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And here at Charleston Southern University, that is our goal, is to help you um, love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and to with all your mind by teaching you um, how best to use your mind to learn all the things um, that you um, desire to learn. We also believe here that all scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. Um, it corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. And so um, that is also something that all the faculty and staff at Charleston Southern University believe in. And it influences um, the way that the university runs. So the mission of the university is to promote academic excellence in a Christian environment. And so that is the loving God with all of our mind. Um, and that is what we desire to do, um, to help you grow in your faith as well as your um, academic prowess. And our vision is to integrate that faith in learning, leading, and serving. And so within all of your classes, even within the biology department, you will always find us integrating our faith into what we're teaching you in the classroom. And our teaching philosophy for most of the professors in the biology department is one, to provide students with active and practical learning experiences. This means that we will be doing labs, we will be doing hands-on research, we will be going out into the woods and collecting plants, we will be going out into the woods and looking at birds. Um, we want to give you active um, experiences, also very practical. So we oftentimes will have guest speakers in career fields of interest um, so that you understand what it's like to be a veterinarian, what is it like to be um, a physician, what is it like to be an environmental lawyer, right? Um, all of the career doors that are open to you. We love to engage students' perspectives and experiences. Um, and we do this because our class sizes are very small. And so we oftentimes right, would love the students to give us feedback. And so we have a lot of class discussions. We have a lot of student presentations um, just to engage how you are understanding and experiencing the material. This is a biology department. And so we want to train effective scientists. And once again, that um, includes doing labs, um, doing laboratory um, experiments, doing research, um, and as well as learning how to write up all of your experiments in lab reports and scientific papers. And finally, we want to provide effective mentoring, academic advising, and career guidance. Um, because we are so small, um, you have a lot of one-on-one -on -one, 
um, attention from your professors. And we have eight hours worth of office hours every week, meaning that you can easily go and talk to any of the professors in the department about things that you are considering as far as your career is going, or about difficulties that you are having as far as your academics are um, concerned. And our desire is to mentor you and to help you achieve everything that you want to achieve. And just to highlight that, I'll give you a couple highlights from some of the professors in the biology department. So Dr. Melinda Walker is the chair of the biology department, and she earned her PhD in cell and molecular um, biology and pathobiology from the Medical University of South Carolina. She also got her bachelor's degree from Charleston Southern University. So she herself is a Buccaneer. Um, and some of the courses that Dr. Walker would teach um, that you may take from her would be anatomy and physiology, microbiology, cell biology, nutrition, and biological chemistry. Another professor I'd love to highlight is Dr. Todd Heldreth. And Dr. Heldreth is our resident vet. So he has a, a doctorate in veterinary medicine um, and he's also, in addition to being a professor, a beloved professor at Charleston Southern University, he's also the staff, one of the staff veterinarians at um, Charlestown Landing. And so some of the courses that he teaches are zoology, parasitology, comparative vertebrate anatomy, herpetology, mammalogy, and also anatomy and physiology. So if anybody's interested in veterinary medicine, um, Dr. Todd Heldreth is absolutely um, there to help you. And then Dr. Peter Jenkins, who has a PhD in molecular and cellular um, pathobiology from the Medical University of South Carolina. And some of the courses he teaches are um, wildlife biology, ecology, conservation biology. And Dr. Jenkins is also uh, the head of our master's in biology program. And so even after your four years as a biology major at Charleston Southern um, University, you decide that you want to extend your academic experience, you can enter into our two-year master's of biology program that will then set you up to be able to um, go on to maybe either earn a PhD or to get um, a level job. And then last but not least, um, me. So I'm Dr. Lauren Wills and just a little bit about me. Um, I got my bachelor's in biology from the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. And that's where I grew up in Baltimore, Maryland. And I earned a PhD in environmental science and toxicology from Duke University in 2008. And my Areas of research um, include environmental toxicology, drug development, um, mitochondrial toxicity, and now in my more um, recent years, environmental stewardship. So what is the responsibility of the Christian community to steward the environment um, to the glory of God? So uh, the courses that I teach are Intro to Bi Biological Science um, for non-majors, um, which probably is none of you. Um, you probably you know, I'm, I'm assuming that you're interested in this uh, session because you're interested in being a biology major. But I also teach foundations of biology for the biology majors, which means I'm one of the first professors you would have at CSU. Um, for those that are interested in wildlife biology, I am also a professor you'd see um, for at least two more courses, which is environmental toxicology, which is a requirement for our wildlife majors. It's also a elective for all of our biology majors and environmental law and policy. I'm also the professor that teaches freshman seminars. So I am the one that helps all of our incoming biology, biology freshmen learn about um, how to study, how to navigate the campus, how to um, navigate being a biology major, what their career goals might be, helping them kind of see down the line, right, four years down the line, what what will life look like when they finish? Um, as a biology major at Charleston Southern, um, there are different areas of focus that you can pursue. So um, you can choose to go the pre-professional focus and students that have gone this focus end up, um, many of them end up going to school, um, PA school, pharmacy school, veterinary medicine or graduate programs. We also have a track in medical lab science for students that are primarily interested
interested in becoming um, laboratory um, technicians or doing laboratory research. We also have a track, which is um, my beloved track, right, of wildlife majors. And these students end up, um, they're often going to do government work in the wildlife sector. So um, environmental protection agency, natural resources, fish and wildlife service, those kinds of things. And then we have a general biology track so that students can kind of manipulate that track um, in order to achieve their personal career goals that don't fall under the other three um, more specified tracks. Um, I have all the four-year plans for those tracks if you're interested. Um, and if you have any questions after this session um, that you didn't get to ask me during the session, you can always email the chair of our department, Dr. Melinda Walker, whose email address is right there. And then um, you could always email me um, and I will either answer your question or direct you to the person who can answer your question. And with that, I'd like to just kind of open it up um, for if you all have any questions for me. I have a question for you, Dr. Wills. Um, yeah. What are, if a student's wanting to do internships, um, I know we have the career center and everything like that, but what are some things that the biology department kind of does to maybe help um, aid in finding internships for students? We are, uh, as biology professors, we will definitely help our students um, in terms of finding internships. So we oftentimes will get, um, we will, uh, people will contact us sorry, about um, possible internships, and we will pass those off to the students. Um, MUSC has some wonderful internships for students that are interested in more of the medical fields or the um, kind of graduate program, you know, research area, and we will kind of guide students there. Um, Charlestown Landing has some internships that we try to guide students to. Um, also, of course, um, Department of Natural Resources, um, Fish and Wildlife, um, and various kind of um, labs throughout the state will offer certain internships and we will definitely guide students towards those. We are um, very active in trying to do that and also um, very um, active in writing recommendation letters and making sure that students uh, kind of find where they wanna go. This is one of the reasons why in freshman seminar, I always ask the students what, they, what their career are so that we can begin kind of brainstorming about internships, even from the freshman year. And Jaden, I see you have a question. Um, sure. What are the class sizes on average? So it really depends on um, what stage of, um, what stage of your kind of experience you're in. So the intro classes like biology um, 161, which would be the intro to foundations of biology, the lecture itself um, could be as many as 40 students, but the labs um, stay at around 20 students. Um, after that, all of your upper level classes, so we're talking 200 level classes, things like microbiology, cell biology, um, botany, zoology, those kinds of things, and then on up, will usually have no more than 20 students. Um, and this is really wonderful because it allows us to really engage each student and have um, kind of heated class discussions and a lot of class participation. Um, and you're not just a number. So all of your professors will know you by face and by name. Um, even in a class of 40, um, I know all of my students by face and by name. And so um, we are a very tight knit um, community. And so the class sizes are small, which allows you to really have access to your professors. Good question. The biology degree does require chemistry, um, and I can show you one of the four-year plans if you are interested. Jane, what, what plan would you think? Would you want to be pre-professional, general, wildlife? So here, if you look, um, there is our pre-professional plan. It's kind of small. Maybe I can make it a little bit bigger. There we go. So there is our pre-professional plan. And if you look, um, there is quite a 
there is a quite a bit of chemistry for the pre-professional plan. And that is because we're trying to make sure that you have all of, for our pre-professional plan, we're trying to make sure that all the students have the requirements they need in order to apply for things like medical school. And medical school requires that students take up through organic chemistry. And so you can see here, right, um, chem 121, 123, which would be your sophomore year. Um, and then the second semester of general chem, which would be the spring semester of your sophomore year. And then your junior year, you would take organic chemistry one and organic chemistry two. Um, and so by, I always tell my, um, even in my intro bio classes, I tell my students because biology is the study of all living organisms on planet Earth, right? They are subjected to the rules of planet Earth, meaning that living organisms are subjected to the laws of chemistry and physics. And so even in biology, we have to study a little bit of chemistry and a little bit of physics in order to fully understand the living organisms. So you will have to take some chemistry. So here's the general four-year plan. And you can see um, with the general four-year plan, there is just a lot more space, right, for biology electives. So there's a lot more room for you to manipulate the plan to make it what you need it to be for whatever career goals you have. Um, there is still chemistry, but it's a different level of chemistry. And so um, our general biology majors take chemistry 115 and 116, which is just um, the general chemistry and the lab. Um, and then they take a 117, which is kind of this blend between organic chemistry and biochemistry. So it's not sufficient to go to medical school, but it is sufficient for many other um, career tracks in biology. And I always tell my students, um, during freshman seminar, and of course things change, right? What you wanna be as a freshman may not be what you wanna be when you become a senior, but it gives us a, a, an idea. And I always ask my, um, my freshmen to kind of, if they think they wanna to go to pharmacy school or they think they want to go to PA school or medical school, to look up those requirements um, and make sure that they've filled in the correct things then on their four-year plan. So if you know you want to go to pharmacy school, um, then you need to make sure that the four-year plan you're doing as an undergraduate fits all of those requirements. Um, and we can manipulate the general biology plan to fit a lot of career goals. And just so um, you can see, because we are a liberal arts institution, you'll see that even when you look at these four-year plans, in addition to all of your science classes, there's a lot of other classes that we want you to take to make you a full rounded individual. So you'll take some English, as you can see, right? English 111, 112. Um, and if you look down at the bottom, there are a bunch of other core classes that you would fit in. So everyone, all of our students take Old Testament. So um, Christian Studies 111 and New Testament, which is Christian Studies 112. Um, and then our students can take um, something in the art category. So either art appreciation or music appreciation or theater. Um, they'll take some courses in history, um, world history, um, kind of at different stages of time. Um, everyone will take some type of communications course because you need to be able to communicate your ideas and your thoughts regardless of whatever career you choose. Um, and then in this kind of track, either psychology, criminology, political science, or economics, or um, sociology in, in that track. And then all of our students will have to take some computer science um, class because that's the wave of the future. Look at what we're doing right now. And then, um, all of our students have to take at least one semester of a foreign language. And that language could be Spanish, French, Arabic. Um, I think are the three main languages that we offer here at CSU. Or if any of you are interested in wildlife, I could show you that one as well. Um, I'm not sure if that one interests you or not. So our wildlife majors um, are pretty packed in there. Um, so they also will take you know, a level of chemistry, same level as the general biology majors, chemistry 115 and 116. Um, but they then are much more um, kind of bordered in on the classes that they need to take. 
And so um, they'll take vertebrate natural history, conservation bio, um, wildlife management, mammalogy, the two courses I teach, environmental toxicology and environmental law, um, so forth. So they make sure, we make sure that our wildlife majors, if they want to get a certificate with the um, Wildlife Society, they have all of the courses that they need in order to earn that certificate. And so that is kind of our guidance um, for the wildlife majors to make sure that we are meeting all the requirements of the Wildlife Society. For any of the other students that have entered in, do you have any questions? Ask a biologist. I am more than willing to answer. Or if you have any questions about admissions, um, Hunter is here as well, and I'm sure we'll be more than happy to answer any of those questions. Hey guys, about anything um, concerning admissions, um, please ask away. I would love to answer them for you. Well, just for posterity, right, our students that are interested in pursuing veterinary medicine, we often um, suggest that they go pre-professional. So that would be that pre-professional plan. There is the plan that we recommend for students that are interested in veterinary medicine. Um, so anything, um, there you are, Ariane. So uh, the track for uh, veterinary medicine um, I'll reiterate, is the pre-professional track. So that would be the track that we would um, suggest for all of the students that are interested in veterinary medicine. Now, in there, you may choose to add in, right, compare for the electives, right, in this plan. That's where you would add it, make sure you have the electives that are required for um, applying for veterinary school. So that may be comparative um, vertebrate anatomy or mammalogy or um, um, herpetology or so forth. That's where you would add those into these sections that we leave open for um, biology electives. Hunter, you may be able to answer that question. There's a question about um, SATs and ACT scores. Absolutely. So. For general admission um, into CSU, so we do have a bridge program, but I'll get to those in just a sec. Um, a regular admission uh, for the SAT, for evidence-based reading and writing, uh, you're looking at a 530. And then for math, you're looking at a 490. And then for ACT, all areas, uh, you have to have a 19 um, in those. Now, when you go down to the bridge program, this includes for like our 099 classes, so like beginning algebra, um, and courses for English to be able to get you prepared for a college level math or English, which basically adds a semester on um, unless you do like a summer course or extra credits per semester. Uh, but for bridge program, SAT for evidence based reading and writing is a 450. And then for math, you're looking at a 440. And then going down to the ACT, um, you have an English, a 17, and then a math, a 17. Um, and then for all other areas of 15 uh, for bridge. And so there, there's, those are the requirements, um, one for general mission and then two for bridge program. Um, and then we can go off of those to be able to make your, your decision on your application. So wonderful, Julie, what, what I'd ask you to do, and I'll post this again, I can absolutely email you the four-year plans. Um, and so if you, I'll show you my email address again. So if you contact me at this email address right here. So yes, no problem. I will definitely send those to you. If you contact me at lwills at csuniv.edu. That's lwills at csuniv.edu. I will be more than happy to send you um, the four-year plans for all of our tracks.